My name is Gail Bocor, and I am a member of Beaux Arts. I have been a member for approximately four years. Um, this piece that I'm talking about, I will be discussing the process. Um, this was in a show in January that was at the uh, a Jane's Art Center, and it was called Visual Symphony. And um, my piece, when I first start this, I determine the colors I'm going to use, uh, but that's it. And then I develop a composition based on shapes and I usually stick to three different shapes, three different colors, and build up from there. So when the one layer dries, I like to do glazing, which means I'm mixing my color with a transparent or translucent medium so that the color underneath shows through. So I play with that a little bit, and that's usually my second step. And then I kind of stand back and look at it for a while and decide what does it need and at this point as i remember the painting was very smooth and it needed texture so i went in with some visual texture and i put in i think this was bubble wrap up here and the bubble wrap over there i may have done some stencils and down here i actually did a raised stencil so you can actually feel it with some texture um, and then I still wasn't happy. <laughs> so I sat and I looked a little bit more and I decided to do some marking. And this I think is what my last step is, where I mark different areas and I draw shapes. And I usually will do this with a permanent marker or with a watercolor marker, which is water soluble. So that means as soon as I go to varnish the painting, the it will run. But if I spray it first, it gives it sometimes a little bit of texture. And I think this was done with a watercolor marker. And I tend to um, have rocks develop in my paintings. And um, this one I call cascading because it appeared to me that the colors were cascading over the rocks. Um, and I think that probably would uh, explain the process. And of course, I do varnish it afterwards.